17 brings a few new features to TouchChat. Now you can add space between the buttons with a setting. The new button margin setting allows you to select a button margin or padding between buttons from 1 point to 100 point. The Find Word feature found in most keyboards allows the learner to follow the motor pathway of the desired word. The chat editor offers options to create configurations for Hebrew and Arabic. This also allows you to use the button capture to create visual supports using the specific vocabulary options. A few updates to vocabulary are found in 217. Minor changes in vocabulary include dates updated in files with a date to reflect the year 2019. Word power additions to a few files include a few next logical words such as go for a walk, take a walk, take a ride. Trouble was added to actions A to Z under T and to describe A to Z under T. You will find these additions completed in all files in update 218. iEssence was removed from the upgrade store and is available as a download on the TouchChat app website. If you are already using this option, you will continue without issue. <music> 218 brings new features to TouchChat. A search bar has been added to allow you to search for vocabulary by name. As you begin to type, the list will narrow to your option. The number of lines of speech in the speech display bar is no longer limited to three. You have the option to select from one to ten lines of speech. A new button action has been added that allows you to switch between profiles with a button action. In the video, I have created two profiles with my desired settings and use the Select Profile option to navigate between the two files. I created the files so that my English file uses an English voice and my Spanish file uses a Spanish voice. I love to read. I love to read. I don't like I don't like me encanta leer me encanta leer no me gusta no me gusta. Webhook functionality is now included in the software. So what is a webhook? A simple description is an event that triggers an action. A webhook can enable us to control things in our environment, such as a light, or send an email using the message created in our AAC system. There are a few things required to set up a webhook. It will require a Wi-Fi connection on the device. Depending on what your goal is, it may require third-party products. Typically, it requires some setup, such as an application or an account. 
It requires some understanding of webhooks and programming them. I will demonstrate the programming in a separate video. There are several webhook sites and apps. I have used the IFTTT app to create the webhook in the video. For my demo, I will have created a button to turn my light on and off using the webhook button action and the IFTTT app. Once I have followed the steps to create the webhook, I copy and paste the URL into the webhook box. One key tip is to not include spaces when you are setting up the event name. iOS does not allow spaces. I have already created my webhooks using the IFTT app and added them to my file. I am also using a smart plug I purchased through Amazon. Anything plugged into this outlet could be controlled through the applet and a webhook. There are a number of other things you might want to do with a webhook, such as sending text to a Google Doc or an email. Light off. Light on. We have released head pointing in beta form. This is built into the Touch Chat app settings. It is using the facial recognition capabilities of the newest iPad Pro to track your head and face movement. At this time, we have options that include a hover, eye blink, mouth open, eyebrows up, tongue out, smile, and a frown. No calibration is needed, however, you can recenter the cursor if necessary. In the video, I will be using my eyebrows up option to make my selections. I am ready to show you this. I am ready to show you this. It is really great. It is really great. Alexa, what is the weather today? Currently, in Solon it's 20 degrees Fahrenheit with clear skies and sun. Today, you can expect partly sunny weather, with a high of 28 degrees and a low of 11 degrees. Alexa. Call. Which phone number, contact or device do you want to call? Randy. Did you mean Randy? Yes. Calling Randy's mobile. Head pointing will be compatible with these devices. The iPad Pro, an iPhone XS, iPhone XR, and the iPhone X. Let's take a look at some vocabulary updates in version 2.18. WordPower 80 and 108 with keyboard have an added bonus when you tap the H key. You will see the question word how appears in the word prediction box. This completes easy access to all question words by the tap of a letter. Updates to WordPower 42 Basic and 60 Basic provide verb endings when someone selects line up. You will see endings for S, E, D, and I, N, G. A few verbs were added, whisper, mow, and cut. Next logical words were added to 25 touch and scan. Take is followed by options for a walk, ride, break, picture, bath, and shower. 
Good is followed by job and idea, so you can say, that is a good idea. Take a picture offers of me as a next logical word. And finally, 2019 was fixed in this file. Word Power 20 simply was updated with next logical words following take as well. Options for a walk, a bath, a shower, and a ride appear. And the last addition is the ability to say, how much does it cost? A new vocabulary has been added to the touch chat options. Communication journey aphasia has been translated to a version in Spanish. Supporting documents found on our website are being translated and will be available in Spanish as well.